All right, so it's snake oil, let's go home. Bye bye. No, that was too easy. It was way too easy. Hey everybody, and welcome to a new episode of Snake Oil. This time we are reviewing the mix checker from Artified. And I'm not doing it alone. I'm being joined by a YouTube live stream over here with an audience of like uh, 18 people. So uh, if you guys can say hi or something. Ah, there they are. There they are. Ha! <laughs> There's a bit delay in the chat. Holy crap, what a... You, you don't realize how much 18 is until everybody spits out a hi in the... You are all in the video, you're all in the video. All right, so this is a new thing I'm experimenting with. Since I get a lot of critique on my uh, snake oil videos, I think these guys also know. I, I don't want to decide alone if something is snake oil or not. New style, new type of videos, let's see if it works. If it works, I will be doing more of these live stream things. Right. Okay, let's get started. Let's see what they say on their website and let's see what it is. So it's a mix checker. It's being sold for $149, which is something I at least need to think about before buying. $149 is not like nothing or something. This ultimate mixing assistant will help you to get better mixes instantly. Mix checker, save your precious time, plug it in the master track of your projects as the last segment of your listening chain and quickly turn your studio monitors into classic reference monitors or several consumer devices. So, so what they are doing is they are simulating uh, different listening situations. Um, for instance, this is, whoa, there's my light going, maybe this one. Ah, cable is too short, wait. Ah. This is also a different listening situation than that. So that's what I'm using, I'm using the Aventones, the label is over here, the Aventones, together with my big speakers to compare my mixes. We do have some uh, Yamaha NS10s in the building, somewhere else in another room, which I can maybe get later to try them out. The mix checker is actually simulating that. And simulating speakers, you know, that's, that's something that almost has to be snake oil. Because in order to correctly simulate a speaker, they also need to have the profile of my own speaker and my own acoustics and stuff to, to you know, really simulate it. Because it's not that they are adding the color of the, for instance, the Aventone to the color of my speaker. It's not like I've got neutral setup. Neutral setup is something that doesn't exist. Maybe in physics, but not over here. They've got a video, which is always cool to watch. A YouTube video, uh, because I also make videos. Because you're watching this. People listen to music, watch films, and consume I cannot, media. I want to fast, I want to yeah. full screen, full screen, fast, can I? I cannot control it! Ah! Simulate the device you want to check your mix for by a single button click. So that sounds horrible. That sounds horrible. Even ah, that sounds you pretty find nice. Actually, spots of your sound. You mix for the people. Correct, correct. Okay, I cannot agree more. You mix for the people. I get this a lot with my clients and, and while talking with other engineers, everybody's like talking about things that the normal people, the people who are going to listen to the track, actually the people that pay for the tracks and we earn money from, aren't going to hear or aren't going to give a fuck about. And you know, the people that are buying our music are the ones that are paying us. So we need to care about the things they care about. And that's a cool statement you mix for the people. I completely agree with that. We measured the frequency, response and behavior of all the devices listed in MixChecker in laboratory conditions to create their true and faithful models that you can rely on. Read more here. Ah, the original NS10. So I think the simulation of an NS10 is in there. Is MixChecker accurate? MixChecker does not simulate each device on consumer market exactly. It would not be even possible. All right, so it's snake oil, let's go home. Bye bye. No, that was too easy, that was way too easy. They are saying on their website that it actually is snake oil, but again, they are selling it so it shouldn't be. Let's just try it out, let's see how realistic it is. All right, so I have it on my screen over here and it's got a pretty simple user interface, I think. There are only three buttons of which I don't know what they do, it's five inch, eight inch or headphones. I think you can input over there 
uh, what type of speakers you're using. So if you're using smaller speakers, then it will also compensate for that. That was what I was saying in the beginning, that you also want to compensate for the speakers you're using. Mono, also a very handy button to have. This track doesn't even have stereo information. Whoa! This is a good example of mono compatibility. Whoa! Okay, I think it's just as simple as clicking a button and listening. annoying because it's not at the same volume mostly if I listen to the main and the simulated one the volume is different so there are, there is a volume panel but you have to adjust it by yourself already so so that classic studio monitor is actually the only one I really liked in terms of sound. I know what these guys are doing with the mix check. They made it sound as terrible as possible. But to be honest, those classic, what it's called, classic cube monitors, I have them over here. They actually have two reasons why they are on my uh, console bridge. Um, the first reason is of course to check my mixes on a compact speaker, which is as incorrect as it can be in terms of measurements. But the other reason is it's really comforting to my ears. I really like to work on those small aventones a lot because if I get it right on them, it's right on almost everything. I, I can mix way longer without getting tired on those small speakers than on those big speakers. I actually only use the big speakers as a check. So the big speakers are my mix checkers and the small ones are the ones I mix on. But they sound really comforting to my ears. That was the thing I wanted to say. And the simulation... sounds pretty harsh it, it's like a, some strange kind of phasing uh, or, or some high Q notching uh, that happens so it's, it's a really irritating and uh, tiring thing that I get from this uh, simulation but from the from the real aventones I don't get that so if I listen through all the simulations all of them do have some kind of the tiring thing the uh, phone, tablet and laptop ones and that uh, like small classic studio monitor thing doesn't have it but the rest does have it and apart from that I think there are too many simulations in there which isn't really a bad thing you know it's you, you can ignore a lot of them but the thing is if we are really going around and checking it on everything that's out there you will never get the perfect mix you will never finish your mix because you will only be like more bass, less bass, more bass, less bass, more hi-hat, less hi-hat. You will bounce around all the time. What I believe in is having a setup which only consists of two speakers, big ones and small ones. So the best ones and the worst ones. Um, and everything in will between will fall into place. For the Artified Mix Checker, I would recommend to pick a few of them and only use them to compare your mixes on. But also be realistic to yourself. A phone isn't going to let you hear that bass line you made on 50 hertz. That's not going to happen. A lot of guys are only busy with, you know, I want to hear the bass on my phone. F*** you. You know, what the heck are you saying even? So that's where the mix checker comes in, but also needs to be used with caution. Do I think the mix checker is snake oil? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to ask the chat also. Okay, so this is where the new uh, the new chat live stream thingy comes in, which is really cool. Let's scroll back a bit and let's see what they all said. The problem I see there, 
They emulate the frequency response of the speakers, but they forgot about the transient response. The speed of the woofer slash driver affects the audio perception immensely. That is correct, actually. And I think they forgot that one. You don't use Genelec monitors. That's the problem. I think it is. So Robin says, I'm using it right now, but it doesn't do anything impressive. Le Pons says in Dutch, nee, te veel opties, which means no, it has got too much options, too many options. I think it's the same with inserting an EQ with different curves to the master bus and try to make it a good mix out of it. Yeah, and I would only insert a, like a high cut and a low cut to it. The concept is there, I think, but it's far from there. All right, so that's what the chat behind me says, and that's also how I think about it. I think it's a good concept and a good idea. However, it is a bit expensive for uh, what it does, and uh, you have to use it with caution. So while being on the road or something, or only having your headphones, like, like in a plane or something, uh, it is handy to have, and so, so you can quickly check how it would sound on your phone or something, because it's very annoying for the person next to you checking your mix on your phone. Those are, you know, the fields that, that's handy to use. So yeah, is the Artified Mix Checker snake oil or not? It is snake oil, but the manufacturer also says it is. <laughs> I mentioned it in the beginning of this video. It is only handy when you really know what you're doing and really know what you're looking for. Then it could be handy to have, but otherwise it's just complete snake oil. You can better spend your money on buying a few Aventones. What do you guys think it's worth? Someone says already 10 euros. Anyone else? What do you think this plugin is worth? Two euros I get. Guys, come on, a bit? A bit? You know, they need to program it also. Two euros, 29 euros, the US dollars, 15, one kuna. I don't know what a kuna is. Is that the same as a banana? Nine dollars. So around 10 dollars I get. So 150 is maybe too expensive for what this thing does. So that being said, out of art mix checker, snake oil. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please let me know with a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment below how you think about uh, the live chat I've just um, added to this video. Um, I think it worked out pretty nicely. If you like that, let me know in the comments below or have some more tips for these videos, also let me know. Consider supporting me on Patreon. You can do that over here. Yeah, I'll make it over here. And you can check my other videos over here, of course. Thanks a lot for watching and bye bye till the next time.